Hello everyone, welcome to 3Dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve curvature continuity. Okay, so here is an example of a ball corner. And as you can see over here, it's aligned to many different surfaces and you're supposed to achieve curvature continuity to all of them, which is often challenging because if it's just aligned to one surface, achieving curvature continuity is really easy, but if you have a surface adjacent to it and you're supposed to align to both of them at the same time, that often presents challenges. So I'm going to show you guys how. But before that, of course, I do have to go through the construction options. So, so let's take a look at that first. So for me, uh, what I'm using is I'm using a tolerance of 0 0.01 for gap. Uh, normal angle or G1 will be 0.1 degrees. A continuity for G2 will be 0.1 also. This is uh, actually a very common um, tolerances that a lot of people use. So I'm going to be just using those in order to achieve continuity. Of course, uh, some people prefer tighter, but I'm just going to go with this. All right, so before I can actually line them up, of course, you need to find out if this surface is continuous or not. So I'm going to go ahead and under evaluate, I'm just going to click on surface continuity over here like this. I'm going to click here, click here, click here, and click here. Okay, so it looks like I'm achieving curvature continuity on this side and this side, but not really on this one or this one. But of course, just with this, it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to take a, a little bit of deeper dive into what's uh, actually happening. So in order to do so, the first thing that you should do is go to surface continue over here. And under the options box, you, uh, you can see that there's a show max label, show comb. So if you just do show max labels, what's going to do, uh, what it's going to do is, it's going to show you the point and which the failure is the greatest. So it looks like uh, from this one, max angle, which is representative of tangency, uh, it's off by 0.4. Uh, looks like the gap is 0.06, and which is a little bit over the 0.01 uh, tolerance that I'm using. It looks like there's also a little bit of curvature deviation also. All right. Of course, that doesn't really tell me anything because you could fail here, but you could also fail here. Uh, so what you need to do is you actually need to uh, turn on show comb as well. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to say go. And let's delete the locator. So you can do so by uh, just control shift middle, uh, middle mouse one and at uh, the 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, you can say that it's, uh, it has delete locator so, so you can get rid of them. All right, so I'm just going to click here and it looks like it, oh, actually the comb is a little bit small. So I'm going to see if I can crank it up a little bit. All right. And if you, oh, it looks like oh, my auto scale is not really working. Okay, so let me just raise it up a little bit. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is where the tangency failure is the greatest. So as you can see, uh, it's, it's got a comb to show that, hey, this uh, these are the areas that it's actually failing. So yes, the max point is here, but there are other areas as well. So you just gotta be a little bit careful and make sure you take a notice of that. All right, so when you are doing this, uh, the first thing that you should do is always rely on align tool. So I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you guys how to manually align it. So let me just copy and paste this one and let's put it on a different layer so that I have a copy. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it over here and let's just do this. And let's go ahead and delete the unused layers. All right, so as you can see over here, it's a failing over here and failing over here. So I'm just going to also turn on the uh, coverage continue over a checker over here just to make sure that if I do any of the align activity over here, it doesn't fail over here. Okay, so always uh, the first thing the first tool that you should be using is align. So I'm just going to say G2 and I'm going to click on this edge over here and I'm going to align it over here like this. Okay, so as you can see, it's well, it's still failing and well, it didn't really do much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what's going on. So if you look at the uh, CV structure over here, you'll see that there is a little of a mismatch all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a query edit history on this one and I'm going to increase the position influence to the max. Now, as you can see over here, you'll see that this, as I push this along this way, you'll see that the CV structure is becoming closer and closer to the surface adjacent to, to it. So what it does is it's telling align tool to maximize alignment 
even if it means uh, moving the CVs. So of course, if I crank it up, it's going to match perfectly over here and I was able to achieve curvature continuity with ease, which is really nice. But of course, it's a failing position over here. So let's see if I can also achieve curvature continuity on this side. So I'm just going to click on this. Okay, so it looks like there is a little bit of failure. But I think the curvature continuity failure over here is not that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to achieve curvature continuity by just manipulating the CVs a little bit. So the first thing you, you should do is because I have a curvature continuity aligned history on, I'm going to just go ahead and delete the construction history first so that it doesn't move about. And you got to pick which one you're going to touch. Now, if you see this area over here, you'll see that the curvature continuity failure is the greatest in this area. Now, when you're trying to achieve curvature continuity, you got to know this. Uh, you got to know, uh, know that this first row of CVs is, is responsible for position. The second row is responsible for tangency. And the third row is uh, responsible for curvature. So you gotta go in order. So you, it has to. You gotta make sure that the position is uh, achieved first before tackling tangency, before tackling curvature. So I'm only failing curvature over here. So what you gotta do is, well, first of all, you gotta pick which row uh, responsible for curvature. So it's a position, tangent, curvature over here. So obviously I have to manipulate this one. Or, the, or, or any of the CVs within this row, and you gotta find out which one has the maximum deviation. So obviously the maximum deviation is over here, and I don't see any combs in other places indicating otherwise. So I will choose the CV from the third row that is closest to the deviation point. So this one would be it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on transform CV and I'm going to press the space bar. And of course I will set, I set the mouse sensitivity to 5,000. Now if you want to do more, that's fine. But uh, I feel like this is a pretty good uh, starting point. So I'm just going to pick this one and I'm going to make sure that it's set to NUV. And I'm just going to click on uh, click and drag on the CV and see if it decreases. So as you can see over here, uh, we started from point uh, 10219. And it looks like if I drag it to the right side, it's actually decreasing. So I'm just going to do it until it disappears and achieves curvature continuity like this. So I was able to do that on that side. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here, right? So it's uh, achieving, uh, well, it's failing uh, curvature over here. And as you can see, the comb is indicating this is the greatest point of failure. And it looks like it's decreasing until it's cur uh, achieving curvature on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, pick this one over here. So position, tangent, curvature, and this is the one closest to it. So I'm going to say transform CV over here. I'm going to do NUV again, 5,000. Let's see if I can uh, do, uh, achieve curvature continue on this one too. So on this one, it's a poor, uh, the curvature failure is a little bit too big. It's about 0.27, which is um, which is a lot more than whatever this was. So what you do, uh, what you have to do is you got to be really careful you are not failing this one over here because this is also responsible for the position alignment to this surface over here. So you just got to be careful and you just gotta have to stay within the tolerances. And as you can see over here, it's starting to fail curve, uh, fail position over here. So I would say just do control Z. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can it, uh, start adjusting tangency using this CV. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, start uh, with this one first. Now, this is responsible for the position row. This, as you can see, is responsible for the curvature row on this one. But it also has an effect on this one. So I'm going to see if I can do a little bit. Uh, looks like it's actually having almost no effect on this one. So if that's the case, I'm going to move on to this one. Because the tangent also is responsible for curvature continuity as well. But you have to make sure that uh, moving this one doesn't fail the cur uh, tangent tangency to the surface. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it. Okay, so it looks like I'll, I'll, if I drag it this way, it's actually increasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the other side like this and see if I can achieve curvature without the breaking tangency to the surface next to it. 
Okay, so it looks like I'm starting to fail position over here. So that's probably the maximum that I can do. So now you gotta play uh, play around with other CVs and see if it has any effect. So I'm just going to see if I can adjust this one over here. Again, you have to be careful not to itch up, uh, break the tangency over here. So I'm just going to drag it like this and hopefully I stay within the tolerances. Okay, so it looks like that's uh, not allowing me to adjust it. So I'm going to see if this one works. I'll just drag it to the left. Okay, so it looks like that is the CV that's going to allow me to achieve curvature like that. So now I got curvature on all sides, which is very good. All right, so that's how to combine a line and uh, of course a transform CV in order to achieve curvature. So I'm going to show you guys a manual way. Well, it's partly manual. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the construction history over here and I'm just going to park it in a different layer. And let's go ahead and take a look at this one. All right, so uh, the, this is the original surface. So I'm just going to copy and paste and put it over here. And let's see if I can achieve position over here. All right, so of course you have to start with position. So I'm going to just manually place the CVs over here. So I'm going to grab this one over here, move. I'm going to snap CV over here and I'm going to snap it over here. So I'm going to just start with the, uh, well, let's see, position continuity. So I'm going to adjust the positional row. And now I got tangency, which is really good. And I'm just going to make sure that I turn this on because obviously this one also has to be done. Now this one for position, I always like to use align. So I'm just going to go ahead and align it positional over here like this. And it looks like I have a curvature failure over here and a little bit of tangency failure over here. So let's see if I can get those. Now for the position influence, I'm just going to crank it down to zero because I don't want to move the CV structure. So let's leave it like this. I'm just going to delete the construction history like that. All right, so uh, for uh, to achieve tangency, I'm going to see if I can just uh, tr uh, use transform CV. So I'm going to grab this one. And again, I'm just going to move it like this until I can achieve it. Uh, now, there, uh, there are actually several ways. Obviously, this one, you can use transform CV. Or with the tangency, you can actually use a curve. So what you can do is you can snap a curve from here to here like this. And you can just extend it up to this point. And this is going to be exact tangency. Uh, uh, this is going to be exact tangency uh point for this row so if i were to now you do have to do this and it's not always super exact because it really also depends on the position of the cv as well so i'm just going to snap it over here like this oh actually yeah like that and i'm going to just move the cv over here see if it uh, reduces it but of course it doesn't because it really depends on the cv structure all of these so so let's see if I can do that for all of these like that. Now this one should be good. So I'm just, I'm not going to touch that. And I'm just going to go ahead and extend this curve over here up to this point, this one up to this point, and this one up to this point. And I'm just going to make sure that this is actually curvature aligned. I'm going to say edge over here. Oh, okay, so it looks like that was an edge, so I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so I think that's good, and I'm just going to delete the construction history. And let's just make sure that this is still curvature, because that's going to have an impact on a lot of things. Oh, what do you know? And it's actually breaking tangency. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and deal with this one first. So I'm going to... Oh, what do you know? I align this one. And I wonder if there was a history on this one, but it looks like it's achieved a tangency, but let's just go ahead and make sure that it is. So I'm just going to snap it over here. Snap this one over here. And this one over here. So that should have achieved tangency. I don't know what happened over here, but whatever. Okay, you know what? Because it's actually failing tangency over here, let's see if I can uh, use a manual method for this one. So I'm just going to snap it over here, snap it over here, snap it over here and snap all the CVs over here. And I'm just going to extend it, uh, extend all of those until the intersection point over here. So I'm going to snap it here, here. I'm just using CV snap. 
Okay, so let's see if I were to move this one over here, and there it is. Um, now, this is probably within tolerance, so why, uh, that's probably why it was able to achieve tangency with just moving one CV instead of all of them. So I got tangency over here, and obviously it's a failing curvature over here, so let's check on that. Okay, so still failing tangency. Now, this one doesn't really have a CV, um, so in this case, what I like to do is I just like to go straight to, to a line and just try to achieve tangency like this, which is a little bit easier. All right, that's it, however. Let's see if I can achieve curvature on this one because obviously it's failing by a little bit. So I'm just going to, again, delete the construction history. I'm going, well, obviously the greatest point of failure is somewhere between this CV and the CV, so I'm just going to grab one of them and see if I can get curvature. Um, I would say the CV or the reduction in the curvature deviation is a little bit less than what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and do 500 because obviously it's taking a long time. So I'm just going to see if I can achieve, achieve this. Okay, so as you can see over here, it's starting to fail curvature deviation here. So I'm going to just grab this one and see if I can get it. Now, you also have to be careful of the curvature deviation over here. So right now I only have tangency. Uh, on this one. So let's go ahead and pick locator, delete that one, turn surface, continue on, on this one. Now that's not how this one is actually failing by a lot. Um, it could be just due to the surface over here. So in this case, as you can see over here, it's a failing here, 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 and here. It's and actually failing by quite a lot. So in this case, what you want to do is you probably want to use a line tool and that's going to sa probably save you a lot of time. Okay. So I got curvature here, here, and here, but obviously this is uh, back to uh, a little bit of failure here. So let's see if I can uh, do a little bit of manual method. So obviously, as you can see, if you want to do pure manual, it's going to take some time. So uh, combining a line tool with it is going to help. But let's see if I can get curvature here. So I'm just going to pick this one. Okay, so it's starting to cause curvature failure here, so I probably want to move to a different CV. That's causing failure here, so I probably, I'm going to now use tangent row in order to get the curvature, desired curvature. Okay, so it looks like it's actually being reduced. As you can see, this is the maximum point of failure, but this comb should actually be reduced because right now it's failing. So it looks like it's failing there. So I'm gonna pick this one and see if I can get it to be curvature. Okay, so it looks like it's actually failing tangency. So I'm going to see if I can just adjust this one just a little bit. Uh, looks like that doesn't work, so I'm going to... Okay, so in this case, you gotta play around with it a little bit. So obviously this is causing, fa uh, it's achieving curvature here, but it's starting to fail. So in this case, you probably want to move to a different section and see if you can get it to work. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's try to get this one. So I believe this CV was the one that helped with this one uh, achieve curvature. So let's see if I can do it. Now, I know it's increasing over here, but I'm going to try to get this one first. Okay, so it's starting to fail tangency. Now, this is not a perfect tangent alignment, but I'm just trying to play within the tolerances. Okay, so I got curvature here. So now I think it's probably a good idea to tackle this one. So let's see if I can get a curvature over here. And there it is. And I got curvature on all four sides, a CV structure. Well, it's a little bit wiggly, but most of it looks pretty good. So yeah, it's done. All right, so that is how to achieve curvature continuity. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.